Hi everyone, welcome to the STD Rapid Test Kit tutorial for syphilis. Today we're going to illustrate to you how to carry out a home test for syphilis. It's a blood test and you can carry this one out in the comfort of your own home by yourself. We're going to start out by showing you what the package will contain. The test cassette itself, this is the one used. This is the desiccant, it's only used for storage purposes and it keeps the contents dry. In other words, you won't need this and you can just toss this away as soon as you open it. Secondly, you will have the alcohol prep pad. This is the one you use to clean your finger with. You will have the dropper. And you will have this one to stick your finger with when you prick your finger and drop blood on it. You will use this device to do that. Secondly and lastly, you will have the blood buffer. This is a liquid you basically mix with your blood in order to detect syphilis. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to carry out the test. I'm going to perform the test on myself. So what I do first is I take the alcohol prep pad, tear it open. Take this out. And I'm going to prick my right finger like this. The next thing you do is you have to do this right. Push the knob in and twist it and take it out. The lancet is now loaded. It's ready to be used. I place it towards the fingertip. I just punctured my fingertip, so we'll see if we can get any blood out of here. All I need is one to two drops of blood. Make one to two. I'm going to do two drops in this case. I'll insert it into the sample well of the test cassette. Yeah, one. And need one more. Right. So we've got two drops of blood. I'll use this one just to clean my finger again. Toss it away and remove it. Just be careful to remove all of this equipment after you've used it so that no one else can get in contact with it. All right, next up is I can take the blood buffer, open the cap. What you want is four drops or three or four drops. Take that out and put the cap back on. You're done with this. We take the test cassette and I insert three to four drops into the testing well. One, two, three, four. That's enough. So now we're done. There's still a little bit of blood here. I'll try and remove that as it's making a mess. As you can see around the test cassette itself, there's a letter C and a letter T. The letter C stands for the control line. If the control line shows up when you take this test, then you see the test works and you have a good test. Now, I'm sure you can see it's a little blurry still, but the control line is trying to show up. Now, if no line shows up at all, that means you have a faulty test. That means the test is not working. This is really rare when it happens, but if it does, then just contact us and we'll give you more information on how to continue after that. Now, the second letter is a T. This is the test line. If both the control line and the test line show up, then that means you have a positive test for syphilis. And I can't urge you enough to do this, but you have to contact a licensed doctor and receive immediate treatment if you test positive for syphilis. Usually you have to wait between two to five minutes. You can already see the C line showing up here, the control line. That means that I have a good test, a test that is working properly. 
We'll just wait a little bit more here. We're going to fast forward now five minutes and then we'll see what it looks like. Right. So five minutes have passed. Here you can see that there is only one line next to the C. That means that the test has worked as the control line is there. There's no line next to the T. That means that I'm syphilis negative. We have a website listed at the bottom of this tutorial video, www.stdrapidtestkits.com, and you can buy a rapid test kit for syphilis there. Thank you for watching, and have a great day!